Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy Note 10 Plus Hexi Nose model. Recently the One UI 7 ported ROM got released for the Galaxy Note 10 series only for the Hexi Nose chipset models not supporting the Snapdragon. So the Eternity ROM version 5.0 was the first release for the Galaxy Note 10 series and I got the ROM on my mobile phone. Then the 5.21 quickly came out and then very quickly the updated version of the 5.2 like eternity rom version 5.2 got released for the galaxy note 10 series and i have updated my mobile phone straight away to the eternity rom version 5.2 because i was having the eternity rom version 5.0 before the build number if you can see eternity rom version 5.2 so without losing a single data i have updated my mobile phone the baseband version is provided i have manually update the google play system update by tapping on it but before we have to check that the internet must be connected and just tap the system play update it will show if the updates available right uh, right now I, if i tap it you can see that device is up to date and now the date is showing first june 2025 before it was like first fab 2025 i was getting many messages that after updating the google play system update mobile phone got stuck on the samsung logo well in my case it didn't but i did this updating procedure with the eternity rom version 5.2 now let me tell you that the first version the version 5.0 was uh, working fine on my mobile phone i was not facing any issues i was not getting any problem using the version 5.0 the secure folder was working with my variant the camera was not crashing with my variant because the variant that i have is actually d2s the galaxy note 10 plus the global variant now here one more thing i want to inform or i want to add that i was uh, getting complaints that after flashing the eternity rom on the korea variant or any other variant uh, except the galaxy note 10 plus the d2s code name they are having issues with the signals the network not coming the calls are not happening why so let me tell you because the korea variant i also use and the phone that came to me were having a auto patch rooted firmware auto patch rooted firmware means that the ime numbers were injected manually and the auto patch firmware was flash so the auto patch firmware as far you are using the network will be working but if you flash the custom rom or if you update the mobile phone like uh, flashing the stock rom on the mobile phone yes definitely the network will not work now about the eternity rom version 5.2 well the camera working fine with the version 5.0 on my variant and still the camera is working more fine with the current version eternity rom version 5.2 i was using the uh, the version 5.0 i i saw the camera was not crashing i took many pictures i recorded videos i did not get any error using the camera application and i see that the camera application is more stable with the version 5.2 about the secure folder when i was using the version 5.0 the eternity rom well the secure folder was uh, set when i was having the 5.0 and the secure folder was working fine with my variant code name d2s still the uh, secure folder working very fine eternity rom 5.2 now those who were having issues with the secure folder with other variants now the 5.2 will bring fix you can use the secure folder if you have other variants of galaxy note 10 series well there must be more fix coming with the latest version well definitely i will say that if you have the galaxy note 10 series or especially if you have code name d2s like galaxy note 10 plus global variant if you want to update then flash the uh, eternity rom version 5.2 straight away 
if you are not having the earliest version in case if you are on the you know, stock from here i say if you like to have it otherwise i'm not forcing anyone this is the stable version eternity rom 5.2 and this is the daily driver rom like if you want to flash it you can stick with the rom using it as a daily driver the eternity rom version 5.0 was having a small lag after updating the eternity rom to 5.2 I see that the ROM is more smooth, like the lag is not there. I like tapping any options or any features on the settings. You can see the response. The lag is no more. The 5.2 is smoother than the 5.0. And one more thing that if any updates arrive from the Samsung, it will notify and you can update straight away the, the things are working fine now here the most important thing i like to inform or like i like to mention like if you want to update without losing a data then your mobile phone must be on the eternity rom either one version 5.0 or either version 5.1 then you can update the rom from the version 5.0 straight away to the 5.2 the data will not get lost and if you have 5.1 still you can do that without losing a data but those who, who are having older version of the eternity rom like one ui 6.1.1 something like that they have to format the data save all the data first flash it with a neat and clean then you will see that the rom is working fine because if you are trying to update the rom from one ui 6.1.1 eternity rom straightly to the 5.2 definitely you will face issues bugs and lagging now this video is for those who have the galaxy note 10 series and having the eternity rom version 5.0 or 5.1 watch the video like if you want to update it to the latest series of the 5.2 getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video haven't subscribed my channel yet then click or tap the subscribe button click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so link is provided in my video description you can straightly download the rom file on your mobile phone the way i did just click the link it will take you to the website from where you can download the rom and the password is also provided in my video description you have to insert the password before downloading the files after downloading the rom file will get downloaded in the download folder this is the file eternity rom version 5.2 around 5.86 gb so i have my data I have both accounts logged in my mobile phone. If you have the identity 5.0, definitely you will have the kernel SU next. If you want to boot the mobile phone straight away to the TWRP recovery, so you have to open the kernel SU next application, then tap this uh, uh, circle and tap reboot to recovery. So the phone got booted into TWRP recovery. Swipe to allow modifications. I will tap the install button. To see the storage is not encrypted it is decrypted if i tap the download folder yes the rom file is in the download folder this was the way to boot the phone into twrb recovery using the kernel su next rooted application for those who are not having kernel su next let me show how to boot the boot into twrb recovery from the identity rom version 5.0 i will reboot the system so the phone will start booting to the rom then i will show so my phone got booted once again to the eternity rom version 5.0 now those who do not have the kernel su next software or application on the mobile phone if you want to boot into twrp recovery because the twrp recovery must be there if you have flashed the eternity rom simply power off the mobile phone first you need to use a good quality of data cable and you need to connect the other side of the data cable with the computer must 
connect the other side of the data cable with the computer now you need to check the mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off connect the data cable with the mobile phone and leave it like this for a few seconds the mobile phone will show that it is getting charged right now press and hold the volume up key and the power key first the volume up key then power key hold press when you see the samsung logo then release the power key and do not release the volume up key just wait okay now i can release the volume up key the phone will boot into twrp recovery now you can disconnect the data cable when the recovery screen get appears on the mobile phone without data cable we will not be able to boot the phone into uh, uh, the audit mode or to custom recovery now i will check once again the storage i will tap install yes i was on the down in the download folder i will tap up label all the folders are prominent and uh, i can see that the storage is not encrypted i will go back to main screen then i will tap the settings then i will tap the third menu and i will make the screen time out to maximum then i will go back and simply doing nothing like wiping anything just tap install go to the download folder if you have downloaded the rom on your mobile phone it will be in download folder in case if you have copied the rom then it must be in the root partition this one in my case i have downloaded the rom so i will tap the download folder and i can see the rom file over here i will select the rom file by tapping on it then i will swipe to start flashing here you can see that to avoid any issues please format data under wipe format data if you decided to ignore don't complain press volume plus key to continue installation this is just the information don't worry the data will not get formatted press the volume up key once the installation will be started now we have to wait let the flushing complete or updating procedure complete then we i will continue so the updating procedure got completed script succeeded well do wipe cache and delvic by tapping on it swipe it and then tap reboot system the phone will start booting to the eternity rom but this time it will be version 5.2 so the rom got booted finally let me unlock the screen okay i can see the wallpaper got changed the wallpaper with the version 5.0 was different and this time i can see that it is in black color let me go to settings first well nothing got changed on the about phone things are all same same model no 10 plus we'll tap the software information so the one ui version 7.0 android version is 15 now the build number if you can see eternity rom version 5.2 the rom got updated from 5.0 to 5.2 well i can see that there are two icons missing which is not here anymore we'll go to menu where is the message application yeah here it is and the contacts also here okay it is done data all remains there we'll tap the gallery uh, on the pictures that i have to take already there the data remains there and if i tap the play store yes the accounts are already logged in play store working let me show the device certified so device is not certified then i will go to menu i will see if i can see the kernel su next yeah it is there if i tap the kernel su next yes it is showing working which means that the rom still rooted now let me check the secure folder it was working with me before and it is working right now also two files remains there in secure folder thank you for watching do not forget to like the video and keep watching my videos so i will see you in my next video until then goodbye